everybody I'm coming on today simply to sing over you and prophesy over you there are seasons that you need to grab a song of the Lord and you need to wage war with it there are seasons you need to grab a word a promise that God's given you and you need to take it into the secret place until it manifests there are seasons of your life that you need to wrestle with what God has spoken over you and you need to grab it and say God I'm not letting go of this I'm not letting go of this just like Jacob he grabbed he grabbed it and he said I'm not going to move from here until you bless me and I feel like we're in a season right now that God wants us to wage war. He wants us to allow those new songs to come up through us. And today, I just want you to, if you're coming on here, just worship with me, whatever the song is that God wants to give you. I know this is not what I normally do, and I'm not maybe not the best musician, but I just know today that I want to lead you into a song that's going to break yokes of bondage. I kept seeing all morning the word victory, 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 victory. And then the Lord began to speak to me through how David came before Saul. And as David began to worship, that evil spirit that was over him, that was tormenting him, began to leave. So if you're on here right now and you've been feeling tormented, you've been feeling pressed, you've been feeling crushed, you've been feeling like there's been so much waging against you, I want to tell you firstly, remind you that the stuff that's going on around you is not the truth, that God's leading you into a new season, that the pressing and the crushing is only bringing you into a, in, into a new season of increase. And I want to remind you of something today, that it's, it's brought an anointing. It's brought an anointing that's going to break yokes of bondage. It's going to break yokes and things that have been over your family for years. It's going to break those cycles and systematic things that have been warring against your finances and your marriage. So join with me in worship just for a little bit. It's just a song that I'll be worshipping the Lord with this morning. So I'm just inviting you to my lounge room to worship with me. It's not the best song, but it just carries something that I feel like that God wants to speak and declare over you today. So just get into a place. If you're at home and you can lay down and so just do that right now. So I'm not singing a song as much as we're just in creating an atmosphere today for Holy Spirit to move in.
situations, the things breaking right now in His presence, the things that are breaking right now, there are yokes that are breaking, there are yokes that are breaking, there are yokes that are breaking, those things that have worn against you for so long are breaking right now, in the name of Jesus, it cannot stand, it cannot stand, who are you mighty mountain, you will not stand, you will not stand, every obstacle lead in the mighty name of Jesus. For those of you feeling delayed, that thing is being broken right now in the name of Jesus. Mindsets, those lies that have warred against you, that have said certain things that are in opposition to what God is leading you in, in this season, be broken in Jesus' mighty name. Because this season where things have felt like they've been everywhere and scattered, where they felt like you've been pressed and crushed, this is the season the Lord says that you will release the oil. This is a season that you will see the breakthrough that will lead you out of that place of bondage and into a place of freedom, says the Lord. This is the season that you will see the goodness of the Lord. This is the season that you will behold all that He has said and that He would done, that He wants to do in your life, says the Lord. And for those who right now are calling their children home, I feel like the Lord is saying this is a season of the family. This is a season of those things that have been lost being returned. I feel like it's in the family, it's for children, it's in marriage, but I feel like it's in finances, it's in those things that have been lost, those things that have been almost like they're being robbed slowly and over the years. The Lord said, I'm restoring joy over you. You will see joy come back in this season. You will see joy come back in this season, says the Lord. You will see 
the reaping of what your seasons on your face have produced, says the Lord. Wow. I know this is a little bit different, but I'm inviting you into my space right now. I'm inviting you into my process. I'm inviting you into what I'm walking through. Because right now, God's saying, I want you to partner with me. Grab that song. Grab what I've spoken over you. Take it into the secret place. Wage war with the prophetic words I've given you, like it says in 2 Timothy. Wage war with the promises of your life. Grab that thing and say, I'm not letting go of it. I'm not going to let go of it, God. I'm not going to let go of it, God. I'm not letting go of it, God. This is my promise. This is what you've told me. I will not let go of it. I will see it come to pass. Partner with what he's saying. Let go of those things that are swirling around you. And you're going to watch every single demon flee as you begin to worship. As you continue to worship him in this season, as you continue to lift up his name, you watch those things won't even have any time. They won't have any space to speak to you. And right now in this presence, this delivering presence, I feel the Lord saying, I'm breaking every single tormenting spirit and voice off your life in Jesus' mighty name. I even feel like there's people that you've actually gone to the doctor and you're saying, what, what is going on? I need to medically take care of this because I'm not handling life right now. And I feel the Lord saying that you're going to feel something break off you. You're going to feel, I'm not sure, I'm, I felt like a click just then. It's like, you're going to feel like even just clicks, like physical, you're going to feel certain things click. You're going to feel a clarity come that you've not felt for a long time. The enemy's waged so much war against you you've gone this is beyond the control of God this is beyond what I can handle I need to go and do something because I'm not managing the Lord says I'm come I'm come my child I'm come to bring peace to your mind I've come to bring comfort to you I'm going to break every single thing that is warred against you just right now just get fiery get in that place where you're waging war get in that place where you're speaking you're prophesying even if right now all you can do is say yeah God I just partner with what Nate's saying What's the scripture you can pray right now? What's something you can release right now? What's something that you can speak forth into your life right now? Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Holy Spirit, you're on here right now and you're just moving in power. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit moving power in people's lives even right now. Like I was seeing the fire of God, let it just... Right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You feel the fire of God come over your mind. Who's feeling the fire of God? Who's feeling heat suddenly like an intense heat over their mind, over the ears and over, over the neck? You feel like the Lord is just breaking things off you. You're going to feel like even people are going to sometimes feel even a veil lifting off their, even off their eyes. You know, um, Laurie Suda. Hey, Laurie, good to see you. You know, this has been a week where the Lord's been telling me, act, 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 do. And I said, Lord, what do you mean? And, you know, I shared just a few days ago about my keys. And, um, and I grabbed my keys. And it was just probably for the last two weeks it's been these keys. And I'm giving them away, by the way. But I, I grabbed these, these old keys and I began shaking them around my home. as a sign of, of a prophetic act of saying, God, this is a season of access. This is a season of those doors. This is a season, God, that you're prophesying over my future. And I'm, I'm in agreement with you. But as I shake these keys, I'm moving forward in Jesus' mighty name. Because there's been something even the last few weeks that many people I've heard say, well, I feel so stunted. I feel like so delayed. I feel like that things aren't moving the way I thought. I feel like I'm not moving the direction I thought. I feel like I'm so, there is such a war against my clarity to know even what way to move forward. And I've had so many dreams and visions over the last few weeks of decisions and, and hallways and doorways. And I feel the Lord saying that it is in this place that we know. It is in this place that we need to wage war. It's not in mentally trying to process our decisions or weighing up and doing a pros and cons list. It's simply saying, Jesus, here I am at your feet. And it's in your presence I find my fullness of joy. It's in your presence, God, that you recenter me to your will and to your plan, God. And every single thing that's been trying to get my attention suddenly falls to the ground. So continue just to sit in this place right now. I feel like he's breaking some things off people. I feel like somebody with their throat, I'm not sure why this, but I just feel like there's somebody that you're feeling uh, almost like a lump in your throat you felt, but it's, it's, it's being more spiritual, but I feel like it's just, you're going to feel it, uh, it, it lift right now in Jesus' mighty name. Freedom, 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 freedom. This is unconventional for me, but I just have to do this. This is, I don't care what I look like. This is what Holy Spirit gets to do his thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
If you're in my living room, you came over to my house, this is what we'd be doing. So, you're welcome. Let's just keep worshiping. A friend of mine called me up just this morning, early this morning, and um, it happened to be as I had my guitar in my hand, and um, we, I just began singing, you know, we just began worshiping and singing. He's on the other side of the world. And there was just such a mighty presence. It was just the Lord just saying, sing, David, sing. And there are moments in my life that the Lord calls me David, and I know it's when he wants me to, to really wage war, because David knew what it was. See, we sometimes think that David in the wilderness as a young kid, and he was having to defend himself against lions and tigers and everything, but it was his, it was his guitar, it was his, it was his harp, his lyre that was his weapon. It was, the, it was his instrument that God used to show him authority in who he is. And I feel like in this season, the Lord's saying, if you will pick up your song, if you will begin to shout out, if you begin to decree, you'll see things shift in your life. But often we go into a season where, where there's so much opposition and it makes us feel like that we have no authority. So what do we do? We shut down our voices. We feel like that the circumstances have, uh, will not change. But we feel like that, what will our voice do? What will our prophecy do? What will, what will it do? And I feel like the Lord's saying, this is a season that your words need to speak. You need to understand. Sometimes God wants to break, bring breakthrough to you through you. And I feel like this is a season that God wants you to see what happens when your voice is released. God wants you to know, He wants you to see the effects of His power inside you released through you. We're not looking for Him to rescue us. We're realizing that we have the same power that rose Jesus in the dead inside us. And it's simply about release. Whether I feel it or not, I need to release. So right now, I don't want to end. I feel like there are people who are going to get set free of some stuff. There's someone here, I just heard the Lord say, I heard 34. I'm not sure if you're 34 years old. It's a very vague prophetic word. But I saw you, you're a female, 34. Are you, who's 34 years old on here? We'll start with that. Because I felt the Lord, I saw like cracks break. I saw like cracks in the ground and there were some things that were breaking. And I felt the Lord say that, that you are so on the verge of a breakthrough in certain areas of your life. And there's such a prophetic mantle upon you. Such a prophetic mantle upon your life. Who's someone in here? I know there's many people, but take this if you want. Someone here, you're 34 years old. 34 years old, I kept seeing 3, 4, and I saw that you're a female. I feel like that you're on the verge. So I, want to, I, want to, I want to pray for you right now. I feel the Lord say you're on the, you're on the verge of something. You're about to break through into a new season. So Father, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, for that prophetic mantle being reactivated in Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Jesus. Capistrano. What's Capistrano? Isn't that a place in, in California? Cal, Cal Capistrano. Who lives in El Capistrano? Capistrano. Well, wow, thank you, Jesus. Capistrano. What does that even mean? I've been getting these Spanish, these Spanish words lately. These, you're 34, Maryam. Well, I just, I just decree over you. I'm sure. I'm, 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 I don't know if it's you or not, but I'm just going to decree. You'd like to be 34 right now, Emily. Receive it anyway in Jesus' mighty name. Well, thank you, Father, right now for those who, that particular and specific person, God, that I saw. I just thank you, Father, that you're just breaking off those things. I just saw the ground, just like the cracks. I felt the Lord saying that you're a moment away. And even right now as I'm seeing, it's like there's rain coming upon your land. And the Lord is saying to you, there is revelation about to flow where you felt like you've been stuck in Jesus' mighty name. So, Father, I thank you, Lord. And anyone from... Capistrano, I don't even know. El Capistrano, Capistrano, what does that even mean? Thank you, Lord. What does Capistrano mean? Robashanda la maquito sha. Capistrano. Woo! Sometimes you gotta look these things up. You're going to give me more than that. Wow, wow. Well, God, hopefully give me more than that. Is there anyone from El Capistrano, though? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. the greatest lessons you'll ever learn in your life if you want to be a voice for Jesus. 
you just gotta move past what people think. You gotta move past even what you even what you think. You gotta move past, is this me? And you need to just simply let out your voice. Like I'm doing right now. I don't know where this is going. Holy Spirit's here though. You just gotta move with it and say, God, okay, I thank you. I thank you. And just being a vessel. There are many people on here right now, I feel like even the Lord's saying, be a vessel, simply be a vessel of the Holy Spirit to fill. Just a few weeks ago, we were talking about Catherine Coleman when we were in the OC. And I, I just loved how this one phrase of Catherine's was that when she would come to a meeting, she will see the, the great need of the people that were, that were there in their wheelchairs and needing all these different types of healing, right? And it's, she said that she would die a thousand deaths before she got up to speak. And that just wrecked my heart because it's like you realize that there is such a massive distance, such a massive, like, there's such a huge space to fill between your human ability and the ability of God. And so you die a thousand deaths because there's no longer we that live, but Christ who lives in us. And I'm just recognizing this season that we need to be less confident in our ability. We need to be less resting on what we know we can do and all constraint, even in ministry, especially in ministry. And laying all that down, laying down what we look like, laying down what we, what people perceive of us and simply saying, Holy Spirit, come for the sake of my family, for the sake of God, what you want to do in the earth. I lay everything down. Living like you're dying a thousand deaths every morning. Say, Jesus, I, I lay down my stuff. I'm not trying to orchestrate it all, God. I lay it down. I'm not sure why. I'm sharing that with, with you right now. Uh, Darren Cooper, my friend Darren Cooper's got a word for someone who's here from Spokane. Just follow what he's saying. If you're from Spokane, he'll have a word for you. <sighs> Holy Spirit, I thank you. Because there are ministries in the season that are changing. They're shifting. They're changing the very foundations. God is breathing afresh upon them. He's breathing afresh upon churches and ministries. If you would lay down, if you would yield to my mighty presence, you would see what you've been longing to see, says the Lord. For those who run ministries and you're watching this right now and you just jumped on, I feel like this, just if you would lay down if you would lay down, the Holy Spirit would move in such a place and such a measure that it would just change and shift everything for you. You know, um, Pastor Benny Hinn, he said this one thing the other night and uh, to, to me and a few friends. And it just, like I said, we're talking about Catherine Coleman and it just absolutely has been wrecking me for weeks. He said that when she got up to speak, I think um, Laurie Sue mentioned about being in, her being invisible, but it's on the same wavelength of that, as that. He said that when she would get up to speak, she would glow the anointing. She would glow in the glory of God. And people would be like, wow, and in awestruck of the glory that was on her. But when the Holy Spirit came upon her to minister, she did become invisible. And people did not even look at her anymore because they were so undone by the mighty presence of the Holy Spirit. And I've been crying out saying, God, that's what we that's what we need to come back to. God, bring us back to that place, God. That is where the power will be released. That is where we will see family shift and, and areas, the, just regions begin to come under the influence of the King of Kings. That's where we'll see those impossibilities bow. And I just want to release over you right now. Just a break apathy off you. I just break anything off you that's getting you to settle or to partner with an old wine season. It might be uncomfortable. But Lord, I just ask right now that you, that you would usher people into a fresh season of being yielded to Holy Spirit, whatever that looks like that you would usher them into a season of laying at your feet and laying down all the stuff, all our to-do lists, God, and that we'll be yielded at your feet, God, and that we would simply say, come Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, for my home, for my marriage, for my, my, my ministry, whatever it is, every facet and area of your life, 
that you will lay down for Holy Spirit and let him so fill you to overflowing. Let him so breathe into your nostrils, give you a fresh song and a fresh sound that will burst out of you, that wherever you go, lives will be changed and transformed. That's what he wants to do in you. That's what he wants to do in you. I just want to stay in this. I want to stay in this for a moment. I feel like the Holy Spirit wants to move more. shift in the spirit has felt like the, the atmosphere is shifting in something so I don't know what it is but Holy Spirit I thank you I can sense it still working in people's minds. I just feel like there's this mindset that's been broken and shifted. But even people that you've been diagnosed with different mental illnesses or even just issues that's been broken in Jesus' mighty name. There is a move and a shift. I agree with that, Darren. That's absolutely true. Amen. If you're struggling to just linger with Holy Spirit, just... um. It's not meditation, but it's just simply focusing on Him. Just release everything you're feeling or just it's worrying you. Say, God, I'm trying. Just teach me to focus on You. Teach me just to behold You. As you magnify Jesus, your focus on the world and the things around you becomes less. Some, someone with a stomach issue is being healed right now. Someone with a stomach issue is being healed right now. I'll put my guitar down for a moment. You're feeling the fire of God in your stomach and you've had a stomach issue. I'm not sure what it is, but I, I saw like, um, it's almost like I saw knots or tangles and I feel like there's almost like there's just been, uh, there's just been things going on with your stomachs being healed right now in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. Yeah, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for that. Um, allergies, 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 food allergies be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Food allergies be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Who who lives in a place called Arrow or has a street called Arrow? Because I saw Arrow Court or Arrow. It was like Arrow. I'm not sure how it's spelled, but I saw Arrow, Arrow. And the Lord's actually, it's interesting because the Lord's speaking direction over you. And it's actually about a uh, geographical move and a whole bunch of things going on there. I feel like the Lord's speaking about that to a few people, geographically moving and, and just the, the shifting of this season. But who lives in a place? I'm not sure if it's a place called Arrow, a suburb, but there's, it could be spelt differently, but I just, it was like Arrow, Arrow, Arrow. So Father, I thank you, Lord, right now. Whoever that is will come up on here. Thank you, Jesus, right now. Your mighty your mighty outpouring of your spirit, the mighty outpouring of your spirit. Yeah, amen. Prophesy, people. Prophesy. If you're doing nothing else here but sitting in his presence and prophesying and declaring and speaking things, do it. Do it. Let this be your space. Say, God, yeah, this is where things, this is where I get together with my brothers and sisters and I'm just going to see things broken off my life. 
Whatever it is you're crying out for, just let it break in his mighty presence. Like I said earlier on, all morning the Lord was speaking to me about David, how he came and he sang before the Lord. And I sang, before, sang to the Lord when, uh, when uh, Saul was tormented by his spirit and it broke off in their left. And I feel like the Lord's saying, as you sit in the secret places, you declare and you prophesy, you don't even realize what's breaking off you. And then it's really interesting. Lately, I've been going into different places and people have been getting delivered and set free instantly because it becomes, it's like the, it's like the, the overflow of your life. So you, Marilyn, you're battling stomach issues. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Stomach issues be healed. Necks, necks and backs right now are being healed. There's somebody that's something to do with a, a, a um, it was this ear. I think a left ear issue being healed. I'm not sure if it's like something on the inner ear, but I feel like there is even vertigo and everything being healed to somebody right now in the name of Jesus. Ears be healed. Ears be healed. And Jesus might different difference of that arrow is in the case of my back and he was shooting me out. Rebuke that in Jesus name. Darren says, who is it that has, read that word there, I didn't get to see it. Someone has middle back pain, God's healing. If you have any words of knowledge God's speaking, you can feel free to share them here as long as they're not, not creepy words. Uh, <laughs> thank you Jesus. <laughs> wow. Holy Spirit, we just thank you. Your presence, your mighty power, your mighty power. Your resurrection power, Holy Spirit, has been released right now. Your holy, your your power that is that is breaking into impossible situations, Holy Spirit. Eyes be healed. Issues of the eyes be healed right now in Jesus' mighty name. You have a huge cyst on the back of your left ear. We'll let that be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. I did that, didn't I? Yeah. So that must have been huge. So thank you, Jesus, right now. Wow. Darren's got another word there. You have hearing problems on both ears. Tim, receive healing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. By his stripes, you are healed. You are already healed. So we just release that over you. In Jesus' mighty name. Wow. Someone who has a son called Mark. Someone who has a son called Mark. And I, I saw I saw a map of America. And you somewhere in, <clears throat> you're not near a coast, put it that way. But I saw like not Midwest, but it was like anyway. I just saw someone who has a son called Mark, and I, I saw like um, where there'd been a dark cloud over his mind. And I felt like the Lord was bringing complete healing to him. It was like it was a deliverance actually coming over him. Because it was like, uh, you've been saying, why can't he see what I'm seeing? Why can't he see what I'm seeing? That, that's not good for him. And I feel like the Lord's saying Mark is getting his healing and his deliverance even today in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for healing of marriages right now, the restoration of marriages. sensations in your fingers or like that I'm not sure what it is some kind of condition where you you don't feel properly in your fingertips I'm not sure what that is or your hands I felt the Lord's healing that right now you're gonna feel the fire of God come in your hands he's healing nervous system issues right now so Lord I thank you for the healing of nervous system issues right now in the name of Jesus nervous system issues be healed Can I encourage you guys to do this? Uh, Daniel, Daniel Zelli has a word. I'm going to read that. 
He said number 70 in the letter D in related to a medical condition that needs healing. Could be hospital wing, unit number, patient number. Feel it as a blood condition you're receiving healing right now. Grab that word, guys. Daniel is a good friend. And he is incredible in the prophetic. So, Father, I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing right now. If you're born in 1976, born in 1976, what, how old that would that make you? 1976. It's the late 30s. I feel like the Lord is speaking. And what I saw um, was a, a closing of a door. So this is this is specific to somebody because I saw a closing of a door in um, in a in a career. A closing of a door in a career. And it was almost like the Lord is ending a season and you've not seen another open door. Let me just scroll these up so I can see. Oh, no, no quiet mode. There we go. 1976, the closing of a career door. 42, the closing of a career door. And I feel like the Lord's saying that there is about, you're about to step into a new door, but it's not going to look like those ones. And I saw that there was a, there was a level of, of provision that God had attached to this, but there is, you needed to jump into this new thing. So Father, I thank you, Lord, for the, for the trust. I thank you, Lord, that you're encouraging somebody right now in that that they've been feeling the, the need to break, the need to step into something. It's almost like um, you've been in this season of your career, um, but feeling like you needed to jump on for such a long time, but it's not it. And you've been feeling like, what's going on? When's the timing of that? And the Holy Spirit simply wants to encourage you. You're born in September 1976. That there is something that you're stepping into. Wow. And it's like, what I see is like business slash ministry. There's some kind of, uh, both that the Lord's going to use you in mightily. So Father, thank you for the strategies, for the ideas that you're releasing over them right now in Jesus' mighty name. Wow. Such a deliverance anointing on here. It's so subtle though. Sometimes you, in God's presence, you just feel like He's just doing it. You don't even need to almost release it. The numbers on the top of my index finger... You can feel that back again, Karen. Thank you, Jesus, for getting here. <laughs> Come on. I was doing that before, right? I was doing that. That's where I felt it. So thank you, Jesus. More of that. More healing, God. More healing, God, in Jesus' mighty name. More healing in Jesus' mighty name. I moved to I moved to New York on March 1976. I just had the door close. Wow. That's, it could be for you. Thank you, Jesus. If you resonate with any of those words, take it. Take it. I've taken other people's words before. I'm going, God, I'm so hungry. I'm, I'm ready. I received that word. And it's happened. So take it. Thank you, Jesus. In the next few days, I'm releasing uh, something for pioneers. It's going to be such a roadmap for this season for people. So I hope it encourages you. But anyway, let's just stay in his presence for a bit longer. <laughs> Come on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your mighty presence. Welcome again to my lounge room. <laughs> It's amazing what God can do in your lounge room, around your table. Just the, the people that can get set free and the, the, the healing that comes just through relational connection. So powerful. Jesus, we love you. We love you, Jesus. I kept seeing Salt Lake City. I'm not sure if you're in Salt Lake City or you're moving to Salt Lake City, but I saw a geographical move for somebody. And I feel like the Lord is, is moving somebody from a place and you've had a burning in your heart. Um, I'm not sure why Salt Lake City is, is just stepping up. So I just, that'll be on here for somebody either here or on the replay. But there is just somebody either moving to Salt Lake City or, or moving from Salt Lake City. And this was just a, an encouragement that God's saying, I'm on this move with you. I'm always, someone had a word up there. Yeah, God. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Can we just worship him for a minute? I feel like there is something we're about to shift into. It's interesting. There's been a flow of the prophetic, but that hasn't been the main thing like there normally would be. The Holy Spirit's really moving in another way right now. So Lord, we just love you. We magnify your name, Holy Spirit.
this is one of the main things he's doing but I just keep seeing these homes and it was like the Lord was restoring these foundations it was like he was tapping in the foundations these new slabs and he was he was aligning the very perimeters of these buildings and these homes and I feel the Lord he's, he's doing something right now in homes and marriages and families he's realigning he's realigning movements He's shifting them in, getting them in shape for a new season of an outpouring. And even in your home right now, you've been saying, God, why has everything been scattered? Why has there been so much mess? There's been so many things. The Lord's saying, I am reestablishing your home. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm strengthening your walls. I'm strengthening your foundations. I'm pouring out healing upon those cracked places, those dead places, those places where there's been division and strife and there's been fear and there's been all those things running rampant. The Lord says, I am moving. I've been moving powerfully to prepare you for such an increase that you've not even known or expected that I would do, says the Lord. And those who are on here right now that represent a, a marriage that has been failing or you, uh, attention in marriages and families, the Lord simply saying, ask me right now. I'm already doing it, but just press in and say, yes, God. I'm in agreement for what you're doing. I don't see it, but I'm in agreement for what you're doing in my home and in my family, God. Continue to move. Holy Spirit, I yield. I'm not going to get in the way because what I saw was almost like you were going, hang on a second, this is my home. This is my home. Don't do that. Don't do that. I, like this is my this is what I've been comfortable in. And the Lord's saying, I am re I'm setting it in, in I'm setting your foundations deeper. Don't resist the move of God that is personal to your life. Not just the public move of God, but the personal move of God that is flowing over your life right now. Don't resist the move of God. Allow the Spirit of God to move and shift things and get you in a position for something that He's been wanting to pour out in your family for such a long time. There is a legacy that is being shifted and changed right now. Not just over your family, but even over the generations to come, says the Lord. Even over your region, as you're faithful and you're obedient, say, yes, God, you're not just going to see breakthrough over your home. You're not just going to see breakthrough of your marriages, but you're going to see breakthrough even regionally. There is something of the kingdom being released from heaven right now that is resetting the value for life and resetting the value of the family in regions that's going to shift culture. That's going to shift culture, says the Lord. And I feel like there are even people on here right now and that you work in, and it's, it's something that God's called you to, that you're mantled to walk in both the education and the family realm in those in those spheres of influence. And the Lord's saying, even in this season, I'm 
but there's two people on here in particular. You actually, the Lord's saying, I'm going to cause you to write resources and be a voice for family and a voice for education. I'm not sure who that is right now, but there's someone on here. You work in education. And the Lord's saying, I'm raising you up in this hour to be a voice. I've given you revelation, cultural revelation. I'm not sure, I've got to be specific. What I saw was this particular lady, and I saw a blueprint of cultural uh, things being shifted in the family and in education. And you see these links between the two. And the Lord say, don't belittle what I've given you. This is a roadmap and a, a mud map of something that is to come, says the Lord. And it's going to It's going to shift things for the church. They're going to see things differently. I feel like you're going to be a voice. I bless that over you right now in Jesus' mighty name. But as we, as this, the Holy Spirit just shifted gears, I feel like we're meant to just say, yes, God, we just surrender. We just surrender in this season to what your plan looks like and not ours. We lay down the questions we lay down when we feel like what's happening things feel stunted what is going on we lay it down and we yield to your holy spirit i remember a mentor of mine many years ago he said he said to me there are seasons in the unknown where you feel like you're just you're just on your face just just crying your eyes out day after day at the, at the door that doesn't seem to open and you're saying, God, I know you moved me forward, but it doesn't seem to open right now. And he said, as your tears, as you release them, as you just sit at his feet and you're just yielded, suddenly you find yourself on the other side of that door. You find yourself on the other side of that door. You don't even know how it happened. You can't teach people how to do it because you didn't do anything. Suddenly the door opens for you. And I feel like this, the key in this season, and it sounds too simple, and it sounds like, well, yeah, I'm, I'm doing that. But it is the only key in this season is yield. Yield, surrender, so be filled with the Spirit of God, so be filled with His presence, lay down everything you're trying to do to orchestrate and make doors happen for you when it is only by the Spirit of God that those things can really open. Because the doors you open on your own, you're going to have to fight and work hard to keep them open. And I'm telling you, the Lord's saying He doesn't want man orchestrated doors in this season. He wants you to experience His goodness. He wants you to experience it's like a father that goes before you and opens doors and you're simply a son and a daughter that walks through them. You don't have to toil or work for what he opens for you. You simply, he just wants you to yield. And as, as it's almost like there is this, uh, this calendar I see in the spirit. And it's like God saying, as you hit on the day that he's, organ, he's orchestrated for you, for that thing to open, it will open. Simply trust me, says the Lord. Simply trust me. Simply yield to me, says the Lord. He's breaking off every weight and every hindrance that's held you down. Every yoke that's been on your back is being lifted in this season. Don't resist him. Even, I just feel like even, even carrying, it's almost like I see somebody on here and I see this big binder and there's, in this binder is all these notes and sermons. Who is that? I'm speaking to somebody right now. I've got to be fiery on this one because I feel like the Lord, it's, this is not a corrective word. The Lord's just going to bring you into something. Who is a pastor or a leader on here right now? Um, I just want to speak this over you. I saw one particular person though, you're carrying a massive big binder of sermon notes and the amazing revelation that God has given you in the past season. And I saw it on your back like a yoke. I'm going, why am I seeing, why am I seeing this binder on someone's back like a yoke? Like it's, it's like a, a heavy burden. And I feel like it was the Lord saying, it's where they're not willing to let go of the past season of how I use them and how I, and how they, how I moved through them and what I did inside their lives and in their families. They're not wanting to let go of the memories and the scenes. And it's not that any of that was bad. It's not that those sermons and what the revelation I flowed through them was bad because it's, it's powerful. But you need to let go of that. You need to allow him. You hand him that book. You hand him that binder. And say, God, my past season where I served you faithfully, it's like you're still holding on to a season that you were so connected to because why? It costs us greatly. It's costed you greatly. You pioneered so faithfully. And the Lord is saying, well done. But in the season where it feels like the whole way, I'm simply wanting you to let go so I can give you something fresh. Open up your hands to me. Open up your heart to me. And I'm going to flood your life with fresh revelation. I'm going to put a fresh passion inside you. And I'll put new words on your tongue. And I'm opening up doors for you that is not going to be like the past season, says the Lord. And that's what I feel the Lord saying to many ministers and people on here. Um, Andy Collagross. 
also, I saw your name just pop up a second ago when I had my eyes open. I feel like the Lord is saying, I'm shifting you and your family. And I keep seeing your family. And I feel like the Lord's saying that this is a season of your whole family stepping into an open door. I'm not sure if you have daughters, but I saw, I just saw, I saw a girl. And I feel like the Lord's saying that even your family is shifting into a new season. They're in their own areas, they're in their own, in their own capacities, in their own ways. But even as you are faithful to let go of those old things and say, God, and I feel like you already have let go. But I, even in this season, as you're faithful to simply say, God, I'm, I'm stopped. I'm not going to try to figure this out. It's like he's going to open up a door for you and your wife. But as you step through that door, you'll watch your own, your children, your family step through doors that are new for them as well. And so it's almost like it follows suit. So Father, I bless him. I bless the call of God upon him and his wife's life and their family. In Jesus' mighty name, God, that you're bringing us into a new season. You bring us into a new season, God. So I thank you, Jesus. You help us, our ability to let go and to yield. In Jesus' mighty name, Lori Suda, I need to prophesy over you right now. I need to prophesy over you right now. I just see, um, this is going to sound really strange. I just, wow, I just saw it. I saw you and you're holding eggs. And we're talking about yolks, <laughs> so it's kind of crazy. Um, but you're holding this uh, this dozen eggs, like, you know, in, in a pack. I'm like, what What am I looking at? And um, I was like, well, this is this is clearly a bad, this is yolks, you know? And um, the Lord said, no, 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 this is, this is what she's about to birth. And I saw 12, and so because it's 12, I knew that the Lord was speaking about governmental authority. And I knew that this law was saying over you, Laurie, this is a season of stepping into a governmental authority. 12, also, I knew that God was speaking about a company. And I feel like in this season, you've been crying out for, for that for people to surround you. And I feel like I need to prophesy. This is so from the Lord. I feel it so strongly right now. The Lord is sending you your people. He's sending you almost like people around you that are going to lift you up. I feel like God's sending you people because you're about to step into a, a new season. And uh, I feel like that the Lord's saying you're also stepping into a new level of authority in your mantle. So Father, I thank you, Lord. It's almost like I see you're a, per you're a personal prophet, but the Lord's saying you're stepping into a place you're going to see things governmentally. So I just need to release that of you. God's already doing it. I'm just confirming it. I thank you, Lord, for Laurie. I thank you for what you're releasing over her, God. I thank you for her people. And I thank you for the governmental authority, authority that you're releasing over her right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, God. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, Laurie. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 12-12. Interesting. 12-12. Let me just break off those old yolks. You don't need those old eggs sitting in your fridge for, for one year. You don't need that stuff. This is the season of the fresh. This is the season of the new. This is the season of the free range, organic. <laughs> I got these eggs the other day and it came with a little thing on the front of them. It said, um, I mean, this is how crazy it gets these days, right? It's like, go to this website and you can see our chicken, chickens on webcam, you know, just to prove that they're free range and they're whatever else, eating, you know, eating... I don't know what they're eating. Maybe like organic hay or pellets or whatever they're eating, you know, just to make sure that they're paleo chickens. Um, it's just, anyway, that's just a side thought. It just made me laugh. But Laurie, I hope that blessed you. Thank you, Jesus. Kendra, you're stepping into your ministry. You're stepping into that. Um, I, I just feel like the Lord's saying, um, go low, go slow. And um, I don't mean to say that hold you back. It's not that. I just feel like the Lord is really, it's almost like, line upon line, precept upon precept, kind of a season for you. And it's like the Lord's uh, establishing you guys um, in each step in each day. And there's going to become such a, uh, you're going to feel like it's God establishing you guys in wisdom and in strength. And it's not like you're rushing or getting ahead of yourselves. And there's so much that's already inside you guys to release. And I just feel like that God already knows that how it's going to happen in the, in the doors and everything like that. So Father, I thank you for family ministries, family ministries, in Jesus' mighty name. Now, <laughs> free range organic. Yeah, free range organic prophets. No, no heavy yokes, uh, except the double anointing yoke, right? Let's let's pray for the double anointing yoke. But guys, I just want to release over you. Just one thing as we pray. I just pray just a hunger for visitation of the Lord. Hunger for the visitation. Put your hands up. You've been hungry for dreams. You've been hungry for visions. You've been hungry for just visitation. You've been hungry for mighty times in His presence. Just put your hands up right now. I want to pray a release of that. 
I've been praying a lot of that over people lately and it's been amazing some of the testimonies that have been coming out of that. I go, wow, that is so cool. And I'm like, God, give me more of that. You know, these people writing to me and saying, oh, you prayed for me the other day at the shop and, and uh, I, I've been having dreams, I've been having visions again and I've been, I've been just having these visitations a lot. The word that's been coming to me lately is God, I want, a, I want a fresh reverence for your presence. And so I've just been crying out for a fresh reverence for his presence again. Those times where you're just, just shaking at his feet. You're in, in the throne room just completely infatuated with him, nothing else. So Lord, I release that. Lord, visitation and encounters in this season for dreams and visions. You'd pour it out right now. You release that over them. Let them dream again, God. Let them, let them dream again. Let the clarity come. Let the strategies come. Lord God, the enemy, see, let it come. Let us be fixated on you and nothing else. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And guys, we've got like maybe three weeks before we begin season two of Grow. Go check out mygetogrow.com. I'll put the link up, up somewhere in the comments, I'm sure. You'll find it. But otherwise, go to our page and you'll find it as well, nateandchristy.co. Bless you guys. Have an amazing day. If you have any testimonies from today as well, um, please just write it in the comments or email us or something like that. Hey, Jody, good to see you. I love you guys so much. Oh my gosh, I love being surrounded by fire-carrying people. Jody and Ben Hughes, so many amazing friends. Anyway, love you guys. Have an amazing day. Bye.